Eris, we're in position. Where are we headed? Your destination lies deep within the fortress, Guardian, in the Apothecary Wing. There you should find a particular shard of crystal. Before her lucent transformation, Savathun was in the custody of the Awoken, securely bound within a crystalline cell. Or so it seemed. So this crystal is a piece of her former prison, which means it was likely on her when she stole the light. Yes. My source believes the events leading to her escape are intrinsically linked to the mystery before us now. Yes. Savathun's halls are just as winding and deceitful as her mind. To move forward, you must seek out the more evidence. on route to the object in question now, Commander. Good. You are sure this will get us the answer we need? We can't afford another dead end. The Queen of the Reef does not share information lightly. Mara Sov gave you the tip? You didn't mention that before. I did, in fact, mention it. To Ikora, the moment before you interrupted us, she agreed there was no more reliable source on this matter than Savathun's former captain. Trust her. But she plays her cards too close to her chest. If she had shared this earlier, this would just be allowed. I bet this high sword will be just as useful as the last one. We need to find a lock to smash open. Yes, Ikora explained. But why can't we use the light to achieve the same result? The light may be a powerful force, but when dealing in illusions, it has proven insufficient. It is the mind that must bend to see the truths hidden here. Thus, only darkness can show the way. My only fear is where that way will lead us in the end. by the Black Fleet, Guardian. Do you see now, Commander, why Ikora chose as she did? For all her doubts, she knew only darkness 
channeled by a strong mind could bring us this far. I understand. My issue isn't with the call I Cora made, but the fact that she made it on her own. We know how Savathun operates. She singles people out for a reason. There's no need to make her job any easier. Yes. Darkness another path to be forged above. She wasn't alone. Though so I take your word. Definitely the apothecary wing. Somehow, it feels even creepier here. Naturally. Your trespasser on the testing grounds for the loosened hive's most wretched experiments. Savathun likely appointed one of her High Council wizards to keep watch over this place. The crystal is sure to be nearby. Crystal so far. Just rows and rows of jars filled with. Is that the light? But it's tainted somehow. Savathun has always encouraged wizards to push boundaries of hive magic. It seems that hasn't changed with the light. Perhaps that corruption has far less to do with the power than the channel. Or the power has perfect side effects. Darkness transforms Sabathun into king from prey to predators. Not darkness itself, but an entity behind it corrupted the hive. Conditioned their power on an endless blood hive. Their fate is not inevitable. I have no doubt that some can handle darkness with discipline. But those who can't, they're not the only ones to pay the price.
in all directions, especially those you least suspect. Looks like we're interrupting something. Where's the wizard overseeing all this? I'll go and take the whip out of the crystal out of them. The wizard just fled. Okay. They're closing ranks about the crystal. That was Sabathun, all right. But what does that mean? This is the evidence we've been seeking all along. Ikora's instincts were correct, after all. Indeed. But we don't have our answers yet. Go unlock the memory, Guardian. Then let's see if this cracks the case.
read some of Ikora's notes on the darkness and the light. She thinks the darkness is closely linked with memory. You access this place with a darkness power. What exactly have we tapped into here? If 
there is an answer, I don't hear it. Because now the world begins to fade. that I could forget something like that, isn't it? Such a storied life, erased. The light offers us a fresh start, but if we don't know where we came from, how will we know where to go? I'm so grateful to you for reminding me, for telling my story. Wait. What is she talking about? She remembers. We helped her remember. Thanks for the memories, Guardian. We have to leave. I knew Ikora had nothing to do with Sabathun having the light. The truth is... so much worse. I don't understand how the Traveler could choose her the same way it chose you. We need to talk to Zavala. So, you're saying Savathun was dead? Our most devious adversary, the one who nearly decimated the last city from within, was dead. And the Traveler resurrected her? I wouldn't have believed it either, but... But why would she need us to recover her memories if she never lost them in the first place? This has to be another trick. A lie to fool us into surrendering the Traveler without a fight. This has been the Traveler's approach from the beginning. The Books of Sorrow detail many civilizations it blessed with the light, then abandoned. High propaganda. The Fallen tell the same story. When the Witness and its Black Fleet came to call, the Traveler moved on to our system. Where it sacrificed itself to save humanity from the same forces. Forces which included the Hive! After all that, why would the Traveler give our worst enemy the light? It doesn't matter. I don't know why the Traveler gave Savathun the light. Maybe it has changed its mind about Guardians. Maybe it's not as infallible as we once believed. I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Because I'm here to protect humanity. And if Savathun takes the Traveler, we lose our light, along with any hope for surviving the Witness's return. So, whatever it takes to stop this heist, we will do. All right. How do we stop this? A 
I'm not sure yet. But I know where to find out. Hive legend tells us Sabathun was born on a far-off planet, where she would have lived an uneventful life if it weren't for her worm familiar. The object you retrieved from the underbelly of the throne world. What if it's not a statue? What if it's the worm familiar itself, calcified from age? That would explain why you couldn't unlock it with the others. That also means it contains a memory that Sabathun herself doesn't know. What that is? We're going to find out. With the one tool we have capable of slicing deep into the past. It'll be risky using the relic this way. Which is why I'll be taking this on myself. Eris will help me prepare. Meet us on Mars when you're ready. This is how we stop Savathun Guardian. I know it. These frail siblings will soon be claimed by the light. Unless we claim them first, we will tell the most cunning sibling of a cataclysm, a prophecy of great loss. We will feed her fear, her pride. We will say, Young Sathona, the end is coming. A great cataclysm. A god wave. In the sky, there is only death. But salvation lies in the deep. Lead your sisters down. Your coming will spare their short lives. And you will be reborn. The Witch Queen. They were tricked. The Hive were lied to. So, the Hive God of Lies was lied to. This changes everything. Well, not everything. We still can't let Savathun seal the Traveler away. The ritual's already begun. We need to move fast. Salvathun may be one of the Travelers chosen by rights, but she's still leaning on tricks she learned from the Witness. Take the Familiar to Salvathun's fortress. I'll follow as soon as I'm recovered. Wait until you're in the heart of the ritual, then unleash the memory. That should be enough to destabilize things and break her hold on the Traveler. Remember, Guardian, Salvathun's strategy rests on knowing more than anyone else on her ability to twist lies and cast confusion. But now, we can turn the tables on her. <laughs> 